59 meat. I don't know the combination for the combination lock, so I will have to leave it. Exposed meat vein. This opens to a 30 foot shaft. Let's climb on down. I suppose meat vein is so gross. The idea that this is like, that you can mine meat, that's so gross. Like it would be like if the whole world was like this decaying giant's corpse, like in Norse mythology. This is the spot Curly's toilet notes mentioned. Weird, there was a compass buried there. Curly's compass. Curly Butterfield's compass, but that dude must have been lost because this thing points every which way but north. Oh yeah, you can see the stones. Cool. Exposed Miet vein. You don't like this spiral at all. This cart looks only partially real. Two unrefined meat nugs. Black fluid oozes from the vein. A scabrous mask sits on the floor. This spiral makes me feel queasy. A slit runs the length of the meat vein. It's further than you expected. It's warm. You're up to the shoulder when you feel it. A beating heart. Gross. This card is frighteningly normal. This guy should have picked better friends. Pickaxe, cool. You can pick your friends and you can pick your nose and you should not use this to do either of those things. It provides the option to mine in certain places and it does seven to five damage. I said those in the wrong order, pardon me. I don't like this one bit, it says. Expose meat, ma meat vein. Mine it. Cool. Meat nug. Okay. Well. Kind of expecting to be a boss in there somewhere, but that's okay. Good old rope. Hey. We're making some big jumps in meat. Investing in meat futures. Out of there, Bucephalus. Let's go. Okay. Gustavs and Gulch. Safe on the side of the road. Ironic, you think to yourself, that it's in an unsafe location. We can't pick it, so whatever. Hello, being a mayor. Now going away, please. I'll speak to him. Can I not coming in? Sorry, only for goblins being very private. That is not very nice. Don't you want fostering better of human goblin relations? Hmm. Hmm. I could be knowing I could be no human ambassador, and you go to human town being goblin ambassador. Guessing that might be a good idea. Diplomatics, yes, okay. He shakes your hand and starts working toward- Oh man, that dude's dead. You hear quiet rustling as though a single goblin were rummaging through a crate filled with straw. Go in and beat the straw out of it. Yes. Nothing interesting in any of them. Rats. Library and goblin. It's quiet inside. Full of crude bookshelves. They are in turn filled with crude books. So very complicated numbers. How to bird noise. Alice going into a seeing glass. The popular children's novel has been translated to goblin. Jabberwocky still reads pretty much the same. Oh, it brillig being and toves of zin slithering did in a way gyring and also gimboling. I love that poem, actually. Uh, this book is a detailed treatise on the sound that birds make. You wouldn't expect to learn how to do an accurate, great, crisp, gabe impression from the book, but that's how detailed it is. 
It appears to be about extremely complicated high-level mathematics. You don't have the vocabulary to understand it, and you probably still wouldn't if it was written in English. Your brother would love it, though. I can relate. My brother's also a dork. Locked door. Actually, he started playing basketball recently, which is cool. Storage. The shack is filled with thousands of tiny cabinets, each labeled with a number in Goblin. Nothing in the drawer, but you find an old lollipop stuck to the drawer above it. Goblin sandwich. Goblin trousers. Nothing else interesting. Wait, what's this? Nothing. False alarm. What if it's something, though? That's definitely the last one. I mean it. There's nothing left in here. Come on, man. If it can fill the screen, there's probably nothing. One to fifteen! The r I love that. Big range. Goblin manufacture usually involves randomly welding things together until they do approximately what you want. And this pistol is no exception. More armor, less moxie versus more armor. This has way more armor. And I don't really need the moxie. Goblins rest around there. Must be something really important. Oh, they're goblin wizards. A goblin fish wizard, in fact. Would have been smart to use it on him. Let's turn you off for a round, dude. Well, maybe it wouldn't have been smart to use it on him. Because you have 12, you have... We have the same mysticality. I gotta start using Butterbean last. Are they summoning fish? I guess that might make them more like a priest, like Jesus, right? He did that. 25, good night. You look around the building, but it turns out to be full of rotten fish. Red herring storage. Bed and desk. Made of cactus logs and a blanket of woven together cactus needles. Can't be uncomfortable. Can't be comfortable. Uh, there's a folder with important secrets on it. There's a spare key to the treasure cave in drawer 69105 in the treasure in the storage hut. Okay. Theater and Goblin. Uh, it sounds like somebody's delivering what sounds like lines from Hamlet, except in Goblin tongue. From the vantage point, you notice a sign next to the door reading, Backstage entrance here it being, with an arrow pointing to the back of the building. You sneak backstage and watch the play from behind a curtain. Not only is it a Goblet version of Hamlet, it's been rewritten as a uh, one-man show. To being or not to being? Oh, that is a question. Could it better than thinking to suffering a crazy things and arrows? Or fighting so many bad things for stopping them because fighting, to dying, to sleeping, to sleeping, hey, dreaming maybe, but oh, problems if dreaming crazy when living, what dreams have to have when dying. Wow, pretty weird probably. You watch for a while. The bits where the actor has to do a sword fight with themselves are entertaining. You've done everything you can here. Oh, okay. Cafe and Goblin. Doors locked. Dang. Gruff goblin-y voices pipe griping at each other. Cactus Jack. Oh, like a Lumberjack. That's clever. Hard Cracker Jack. And Flapjack Jack. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Let's take all those down. Yeah, 771. Seven, uh, seven, because I, I feel like they need to be left with one each. I'm
I'm gonna leave him alive. I'm gonna start doing that, I think. Because he can do very little. That was a pipe dream, anyway. Interesting, the magic can go through it. Through my barricade. It's a good you, huh? Cool. That should help us catch up on you. Yeah, because that bean does some real damage. Yes, perfect. Treasure Cave Key and a Goblin Mescal. That'd show them if they weren't dead now. We had the forge and skill, we could do that. Treasure Cave, door to remain locked at all times. He's more he's paying more attention to his book than you, but you aren't gonna. <laughs> You're pretty sure you aren't going to be waltzing by. Hey, Goblet, good book. What thinking about how Goratio is only one surviving at the end? Everyone else dying? Poisoning, soaring, powed blam. Try out your new bird call skills. They're whittling a wooden, a wooden bird call, but they're too busy to beat... Not too busy to beat you up if you try to get past. <laughs> oh, gasp! A great crested grebe! Wow. They pull out a pair of binoculars and run out of the cave. Like the other two guards, he's very attentive. And he seems suspicious. He has a name tag named that says Gene. Yeah, let's fight him. Goodness! 18 muscle. I think even with the debuff. I don't think she'll survive a hit. If I if I armor her and she uh Oh, uh, you really can't be doing that. Okay. That's better. That 13 muscles really doing it for you, huh? And he has 29 armor. You're dead. The slap noise. Oh, please. Oh, man. You're just... Now we get 16. That's great. You won so much for those guards. This one's heavy and pointy. Your supply of dynamite. Bunch of meat. Wait, what does it say? It's a cactusy. <laughs> a rare and valuable treasure. Treasure cactus. Ooh, big meat. Great. <laughs> It's possible to do this whole thing without, like, killing anyone, but, like, I enjoy the comment in this game. I ain't leaving our horses alone in these parts. Give a yell if you need me. Okay, what can you tell me about goblins? Not really. Anything you can tell me. Not really, they mostly keep them to themselves. They're territorial, though. Folks are careful not to farm too near the gulches. Watch yourself. Okay. What should we do next? Uh, dynamite... Goblins. Salt Peter the Chef and Dirt Water. Oh, I should have done that while I was there. Damn. Let's go ahead and go do that, huh? Create a supply. You find a crate of supplies bound for a nearby fort. Looks like it fell off the wagon, or the driver fell off the wagon and was too drunk to strap it down. Either way, it looks like it got knocked down by the fall. Fish the crate. 
and help yourself to its military contents. Not like those army cowards have any use for it. Back east in their coward hidey holes. And an artillery saber. Ooh. Plus six pistol attack damage. And as good as my knife. Dude, that means that our pistol now has a minimum damage of seven. And it could go up as high as... 22? Plus six. 15 and... So 21. Howdy, Doug. Well, if it isn't my savior, good old Arizona. Howdy yourself. Yeah, I had to change the name. Had to file a trademark and, uh... So it's already something called a hot dog. What is it? You don't want to know. I wish I didn't know. Is it like a Santorum? Anyway, a single letter removed and I'm in business. So what do you got? Elegant hot dog, jumbo dog, and saucy dog. Oh man, you could totally go for a hot dog. Try one of those out, huh? Elegant doggin. Ooh, that'll be useful. Are you not the chef? I hope that we don't have to, like, at, at some point choose. Like, I would love to have all of my, uh... I would love to have every single NPC that can be recruited, recruited. Uh, hi, I'm Arizona Tech. Any mail for me? Yes, actually. Package came for you. Here you are. Package from Rufus. A package from your younger brother, Rufus. He's weird, but he's a sweet kid at heart. Advanced Beancraft. Dear bro, I found this and thought it might help you not die. Jeez, you miss that kid. You miss your parents. You get all nostalgic thinking about it. Nostalgia mode unlocked. I have to turn that off immediately. Ugh. Colorblind mode. You never know. <laughs> Advanced Beancraft Volume L. What is L? Roman numeral L. Is that a thousand? Old Bean, Blood Bean, and Great Northern Blizzard. Um, I need to... Let's do Old Bean. You get so good at clearing your mind, you lose your memory of where you left that book. Nope. Alright. Disposable binoculars. That's interesting. Funny, in fact. Hmm. 